So today I have to get some fish. Got a mate we're doing a cook up in his caravan later and I've got nothing to bring to the table at the moment. Gonna head out in the boat with Buckley and uh, with my mate Keelan. I'm gonna try and get some fish. I need some fish, let's go. We're living with our neighbors Dancing Joy Oh, it's what a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just wait, Mark. So we're heading out. We've got to get ourselves some kind of food. Yeah, we've got no food. We didn't bring any, so we're on a, a deserted island here. <laughs> like every other YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> we've got no food. We've got three grains of rice. No, nah, we're um we're gonna go get some food because hey, when you're living on the coast, what better way to to yeah. sustain life than uh, go out, get fresh fish, fresh cray, squid. Hundred percent. And I'm not a fisherman, so no one have any expectations of me. But Salty's actually a fisherman, so we should be half right, I reckon. <laughs> but uh, it should be a good day, nonetheless. It's gonna be a bloody good day. Let's see what happens. Before we set sail for deeper water, though, Keelan wanted to show me how fast he could go with his inflatable rib. I put the drone up and started to follow him and realised I had to put it in the slowest mode possible just so I didn't pass him. Good job Keelan, that thing flies. As soon as we got outside the reef, we realised we were on. There was bait ball bust ups, tuna jumping out of the water, some shark action. It was gonna be a good day. I had my pen rods and reels set up to jig that day and bottom bounce. But as soon as we saw that, we knew it was gonna be a morning of trolling trying to chase those bait balls and just seeing what big pelagic species we could find. Right. Yes! <laughs> How good is that? So we just got one little tuna on board. Uh, he uh, he hit the skirt, the mahi mahi skirt, and so now we're just trying to hook a bird. Yeah, Keel, Keelan's flicking out a uh, stick bait on a really light um, bit of setup, bit of gear, just for a bit of fun. Why not? They're all hanging around. May as well, uh, may as well have a bit of an arm wrestle with the tuna. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting more birds than fish. Than fish. <laughs> two birds, one fish. Mate, if, if you're two single um, straight blokes, getting more birds than fish is not a bad thing. <laughs> you're laughing. But we're both not single, so <laughs> calm down, ladies. <laughs> yeah, salty. You want a gaff or something? Is it a pup? Oh! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> that is sick! So we've got one on the Mahi Mahi skirt and then one on the redhead, the diving laser. Looks like so, a serial killer at and, the moment, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> and then as I was pulling this one in um, to get it out of the way for Keel and uh, two tuna smacked it. Didn't hook on but they hit it just as the reel in. So I'd say the skirt wins for today. <laughs> four, four on the skirt? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Plenty of birds around on the skirt. So wait, we'll keep going, we'll try and get a Mackie. I think that's enough tuna. Yeah, I think that's enough. <laughs> Bit of tuna casserole, someone say. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever had, um, oh yeah. Have you ever had um, proper tuna in tuna casserole? No. Oh, sorry, tuna bait? No, not in, no, I love tuna bait. Oh mate, use the proper tuna, it's next level A. I actually thought we were wasting it one day by doing that, but it is like the best thing. Yeah boy. I've got something here. Yeah. You don't have to, don't have to rush it, you just keep that rod tip bent and you're spoiled. I'm just scared of sharks. Yeah, there's always that chance. Spewing. Oh, 
<laughs> got him right in the corner of the mouth too. Skewing. Oh my god, he's so cute. Yeah. Right, I'm coming out the front. <laughs> Man, I don't know where to go with mine. Over the back of the boat or front? Leave, leave, leave it out. Oh, oh, that's nice. huge. It's a marlin. Yeah. Oh, these two. I'm getting one in. I'm getting one in. Oh, it's a marlin. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh. Oh. And the shark. Is that a shark? Oh. Tax man. You might have got it out of him, eh? Run, let him run. Not a biggie, but that'll be going nicely on the plate, I reckon. Yeah, boy. Look at that, perfect eating size. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually pumped on that. Only took us about six hours of trawling. <laughs> as glamorous it may look out here on the boat with salty, it definitely makes you feel pretty crook. <laughs> Far out. That feeling of almost spewing is just like engulfing me right now. <laughs> Lucky I got my buddy. That's a successful Fish for day. Dinner. <laughs> Fish for dinner. Well, I wouldn't be any good in prison, would I? <laughs> I'd be bending over in the showers a fair bit. <laughs> nah, just kidding. It's not that slippery. <laughs> Thanks Salty for taking me out mate. You are talked a big game, but you delivered a big game as well. So that's my first ever Spaniard. And I know it's not breaking any records, but hey, it's pretty good. Come here Sarah, I want to smack you with this fish. <laughs> 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 Oishi oh, sashimi. This. Arigato. <laughs> Oishi oh, sashimi this. Buckley's just waiting for his piece. Yeah, he's hanging, <laughs> aren't ya? He knows that there's always going to be a little, one little handout. <laughs> The sashimis. Mm. Good? Yeah. Bloody oath. You've done That's well, good. mate. Hey, do you want to try the maki as a backup? Alright. Yum, that um, is like the perfect chili. Oh, that's good as well. Absolute feed. We've got sashimi. Sashimi. Air fryer chips, salad. And squid, and what was that other fish? Uh, Rob Robertson uh, sea brim. Feast. Absolute. An absolute feast. How good's that? 